Hey, what up, Z Clan, and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Outriders video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the legendary light like, machine gun called Roaring Umbra uh, and its uh, fixed mods. Basically, what I mean by that is once you loot this weapon, you will also get Kinetic Storm and Click Roller. So, these are the mods that are fixed to this specific type of weapon. Although, this might change in some near future, or maybe not, who knows. Uh, that uh, the mods will also become a random thing for the legendary we weapons themselves, but it's not a thing at the moment. So at the moment, if you loot this weapon, you get Kinetic Storm and Clip Roller. So what we're going to do in this video is take a look at the weapon visually, take a look at the mods, test the mods with my uh, Anomaly build. That's the way I see it. Also, I'm going to make a few uh, updates to and see basically how it's going to work out. So anyway, let's not waste some time and jump right into it. Alright, so let's take a look at this weapon visually. Visually, uh, the weapon looks, well, it looks good. Not not that super impressive. There are way better skins I've seen, uh, but still, looks good. And actually, it matches my uh, kind of current build and uh, armor that I'm using. So if we, for example, go over here, you can see it's actually a perfect match. So I'm using a commando, oh wait, no, command, yeah, commander, seismic commander. So uh, let's take a look at how the weapon looks from when you hold the weapon from the outside. Looks good. And let's see how it's going to look on the back. On the back it looks even more better. <laughs> I love it. Alright, so now let's go ahead and navigate to the mod section and uh, check out the mods. So the mods is a kinetic storm. Uh, basically shots create a seismic shock around you dealing 230 2k damage in 5 meter radius every 4 seconds so that's actually pretty cool uh, like if you're more of a tanky player uh, you could actually uh, let the enemies come closer to you and shooting this gun basically once the shot takes place it makes that mm, explosion and deals that uh, that amount of damage so uh, that's actually cool with an anomaly power that should be even higher but we'll see how it goes uh, it might be even a good thing to have on your um, like weapon build, uh, but I really want to check this out with the anomaly build. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any really good uh, weapon builds, so that's why we're going with the anomaly build, <laughs> bleed build as well. Uh, and then we have a clip roller. Uh, when your magazine has 50% uh, or less ammo left, uh, you roll to quickly reload your weapon so that's actually really nice for this weapon the reload speed is two and a half seconds which is kinda uh, long <laughs> you can easily get killed so for example if we reload like this look at that reload speed it's just really bad now if we shoot the entire clip until like 49 bullets because that's like less than 50 percent you roll and you're fully reloaded so actually that mod, is, that mod uh, fits in with this weapon yeah, you should agree. In regards to uh, the actual attack, it only works if you hit the enemy, so I can't make that explosion right now. Uh, personally, myself, what I see it going with is the Fortress. So the Fortress mod you get from another shotgun that I haven't yet to review because I dismantled it. <laughs> should have made a review of that one. But anyway, so this is what I want to put, and that should increase the Kinetic Storm power as well as all of my other skills and uh, usually with my build these pistols are the main weapon uh, that I was using and uh, the shotguns they have made the uh, moaning winds so right now I'm gonna change that and let's go and do a few tests at the expedition on CT15 uh, just so you understand let me quickly show you the current uh, situation I'm running it. Some of these I yet to try but as you can see I'm already getting a lot of golds which is really nice in CT15 with 25% uh, yeah it's 25% to get legendary so that is actually very nice. Alright so let's see what we got. Uh, oh we got camp plan again. Let's see if I'll be able to do the run in less than 10 minutes because usually I end camp plan like 9.30, 9.40 and even 10 ish. Let's see with this gun if I'll be able to speedrun 
this location as fast as I used to. But before we actually do the speed run, let's test uh, the actual mod effect, right? Then we'll reset and I'll make a run. Alright, so let's test this out. Uh, right now I'm not benefiting from in Oh, I need to be closer. Yeah, that damage is really bad. Hold on, let's get an enemy guy to come out. Get out of my house. Alright, there's the elite guy. We'll come close to him. And I think we just did uh, 200k damage. Now I can apply uh, vulnerability. That's. Oh, come on, man. Alright, let's see how much damage we're gonna do now. Half a million. Because it has a vulnerability. I sure didn't think a couple of could interesting. get the best of an outrider. Interesting. Alright, so in case you don't understand how I got that damage up to that amount, uh, like 500k, uh, it's because this shotgun, it has moaning winds and it has radiation splash. I actually reviewed this shotgun previously, uh, yesterday, and as you can see, it uh, inflates uh, vulnerable, which means the target takes 15% extra damage. And now with my bleed build, once I have applied the bleeding status on that elite, I benefit from this set, which gives me a 50 additional percent, uh, 50 percent additional damage from uh, to bleed enemies, and uh, collabed it with another 25 percent, so that's 75 percent, and so that's how it got up all to that damage. Uh, let's try again, because uh, I woke up a lot of enemies, and this is not a tanky build, so as you've noticed, I'm taking being taken out pretty easy. Uh, but the thing that I was testing is the damage output. Now let's try to inflict bleed. Uh, yeah, for that we need to kill these guys real fast. Look, oh my god, and I still didn't even implement my uh, my golem because golem gives even more anomaly power, which is really nice. You know what? This actually might be a good thing. 360, 360k damage. Three hundred k damage. Three hundred. Let's do this thing. Get rid of all these guys. We inflicted bleed, vulnerability, and now take a shot. But that was a 300? I thought it was gonna sh should be having more. Uh, it probably lost its bleed effect. <laughs> 700k damage, sweet. Man, this is good, I like it. Oh my god, this actually I might add it to my main build. Instead of the pistols. Because it triggers every 4 seconds without me needing... So basically what I can do now is having my shotgun explosion and I've also applied the moaning winds onto my pistols so they also explode so if I'm quick enough I'll be able to boom. Man this is actually looking really nice. Yes sir. By the way I'm gonna have my main build uh, linked in the top comments so you can see the entire build how it works uh, the only difference is that in that build I don't have the shotgun which inflates vulnerability but everything else stays the same so I'll give you a better idea okay this is actually looks good man looks good let's uh, retry this and see how fast I'll be able to do this this is actually very interesting for me I actually honestly didn't expect that the uh, this mod will make such a big difference to be honest. Alright, so right now we're gonna do an entire run and see how long it will take. But like usually it takes for me uh 9.30 up to 10 minutes to complete this thing and get the gold. So let's see what happens if I'll do it with uh, this light machine gun. So this is where I'm gonna be removing my webcam because I need to focus on survivability so I don't get killed. Because <laughs> this build is very sensitive. It deals a lot of damage but if you make a, a slight mistake and you're surrounded by enemies man most probably uh, might 
death chances are like very high. So this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like. Comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them. Nobody can read them. Nobody can respond to them. So if you want your comments to be read, feel free to comment your positive, negative feedback, whichever. Just don't swear. Simple as that. If you're new and you subscribe, well, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So I have from Ukraine. If you want to join our Discord, feel free to do so. We're over 800 members, but please do read the rules and uh, if you want to see any of the live streams uh, that I do when I can on Twitch feel free to follow me on Twitch so this is where I'm gonna be starting the run wish me luck I might say a few words at the end <laughs> of my expectations of this weapon
elevator should lead to the heart of the facility. Missing is some elevator music. Whatever that thing is, that switch should disable it. Ooh, I'm actually surprised. I did actually pretty good, having in fact that I made a few mistakes during the run. Like, I picked up the ammo, which made me uh, to unload this weapon, and it takes a long time. And I also had a little confusion because I'm very, I'm used to other clicking. Like uh, with pistols, it's easier on Xbox, especially. Like with pistols, is like if you're on pistols, you gotta hold Y, bam, right. 
and you shoot. And then when I need to uh, quickly switch to and make a double explosion, I just click Y and Y. So in, the, in this case, it's a little bit harder as I need to click on the shotgun, then hold Y to make an explosion, then come back and, sh and switch again. So it, I, I kind of like a few times got confused over there. So I lost a few seconds and some other uh, mistakes. This actually, I'm actually, uh, am I even going to keep this for now? Is uh, it feels like it could have a better addition. Plus, uh, the mod also did a lot of damage as well. Actually, hold on a second. Let's pick this up and take a look on the, the damage uh, breakdown. Uh, of course, moaning winds and uh, my earthquake should have the most. But let me see how the other thing worked. Do we get? No way. Please tell me that's what I think it is. Oh no, that's another one. But I got a full set. Yeah, boy. I got a full set with this thing now. But what I dislike about it is, is this is a firepower. There's no anomaly power. Damn it. Oh man. This is crazy. <laughs> I guess I need to review a set now. But th that that is cool. I'm actually was hoping to get the seismic commander helmet. To be honest. I'm missing on that one and I feel like it can have a major impact on, on this build. I need to regrind a couple of things there and there, and make a few corrections, plus those two shotties, but let's see uh, damage dealt. So Earthquake, 83 million, Moaning Winds, uh, 30, um, almost 36 million, Impale, 33, Bleed, uh, Kinetic Storm, oh, Kinetic Storm, not that bad. Kinetic Storm, 10 million. Ugh. Well, as I said, I did a couple of mistakes there and there. Maybe, maybe I will still, I'll still try using this gun. See if I'll be able to kind of like not mess up anymore like that. But I actually went pretty well. But as I said, my best timers is uh, definitely better. What was my best time over there? LT. Uh, Camp Plan. 9 minutes and 22 seconds, that's my best time over there so far. But yeah, I mean definitely this light machine gun is good. Maybe it will work better with some other builds. I'm, I already started leveling other classes as well. I started with, with a pyro and I plan to get all other guys. So if need be I'll make reviews with other classes as well for the same guns if they will outperform or something like that. But anyway, once again thanks all for watching. You all have a good morning day and night. Whatever you guys locate at and I'll see you later. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go. We are Z Clan, we have a gamer soul. By the might of the sword, we put the pen to the test. We are Z Clan, we are Z Gamers best. Z Clan, Z Clan. Our hearts and our soul, we will forever know. What community strong, oh, this is our song. To the depths of the heart <laughs>